Give me a second. Well, Hamzat, uh, this card has two championship fights, but it feels like all the attention is being placed on you and Gilbert. I'm just curious what you think of all the attention that you're receiving for this fight. Working. Yeah. Of course, everyone look at my fights, you know. Everyone has seen me. That's why all, everyone want to see that fight more than the other fights, you know. Because I, I'm the king. Everyone wants to see kings, you know. Does it bring any extra pressure? I mean, do you feel pressure at all? I mean, all this attention on you so early in your career, and it seems like you have to be perfect and destructive every time out there. Do you feel any of that? No, nothing. Like, it's the same shit. You're going to go in and smash the guy. You know, if you have some pressure, give me an eyebrow. Yeah. Right. When you look at Gilbert, uh, the style that he has, the experience that he has, is he the most difficult matchup that you've had so far in your career? I don't think so. Does his jujitsu concern you at all? It seems like he may have the this, grappling. This is, this is not jujitsu. This is not wrestling. This is a MMA. This is fighting. Uh, and it's not like take the gear and hold somebody. I'm going to smash his face everywhere. If you win impressively here, I've got to think people are going to be calling for a title shot. Are you ready for a championship matchup already with a victory here? I'm already the champ. The guy says I want to fight me. Then I go out, I have surgery, something, you want to go to the boxing somewhere. And uh, he can fix his arm. Are we going to go to the boxing? I don't know. And the other guy talks, he didn't fight like somebody top 10. And they always find some excuses, you know. I'm ready. I'm already the champ. People know that. Would you wait for uh, Usman to fight Leon Edwards, or do you feel like you should cut in line and shouldn't even have to wait for that fight? Uh, if they do that fight, uh, if somebody care about that fight, I don't think so. Then I might want to make that fight. You know, like Leon Edwards, nobody know that guy. And uh, Usman, he's the same, you know. Nobody want to see that guy. Everyone see me there and smash the ball. If they give me both guys same night, I'm going to smash them both. Do you see either one of those guys as a more difficult challenge for you? Don't think so. Nobody now in this division. Nobody. Last thing for me, I guess, uh, how do you see this fight ending? I mean, can you go destroy this person in a minute and a half again? Or is this going to be a battle back and forth? What kind of fight do we see? Not back and forth. I'm going to go in the cage and like I do always and take his head and go home. Hamzad, have you been impressed with what Gilbert Burns has done since he moved up to the welterweight division? I mean, he's fought for the title. He's on a long win streak. What have you made of what he has done since what moving he, up? In this division, he lose like when it comes to Usman. He lose and start to cry. And he beat like old man. who was like, you know, like, what is his name? Damien Maia, almost, almost 40 years old. And uh, who is beating there? I don't know. I will fight 84 kilos, 77. And he come up from 70. And he start to cry when he loses his fight. You know, uh, nothing, nothing. He can't do nothing to me, you know. I'm going to smash that guy. You talked about what could happen if you win this fight. Would you get the bump up, maybe leapfrog Leon to get the title fight? If that were to happen, would you feel bad about it? Because everyone feels like Leon's on this long winning streak and maybe he's not as popular as you he are. He almost you feel bad? his last fight to Nate Diaz. You know, like that skinny guy. And I, I don't know. If he 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 did he, it was three rounds three rounds was that yeah five rounds and last round he gets tired if he gets tired against the uh, Diaz what are I gonna do with this guy <laughs> he gonna get the tired after four first minute I gonna knock him out you know maybe this guy not that level not my level eh? you know I don't know people doesn't wanna see that guy and last thing for me. Outside of maybe you leapfrogging into a title fight, other people have suggested that if you go out and win, maybe they match you and Colby up for a number one contender fight. Would you be up for that? And if so, how would you sort of gauge that matchup? I will be happy if they do that, but I don't think so. That guy wanna fight me. He gonna go to the cups if they fix that guy. <laughs> he gonna go to the cups, call the cups, you know, like Dana White will be the jail if they make that fight. You know? And like he always does. 
he talk too much in the media and then when he sees the face to face and he go to the cups, you know, he's not like Geister and to be here. Uh, I'm, if I'm honest, like, you see how to kick him out. This bitch. Hamzat, over here. If, if you beat Burns, um, is the title shot, is that what you want next? Or is that what makes sense for you? I don't care. I'll fight everyone. I come here to take my money. I kill everybody. And um, w when you say like you don't care, so you'd be open just to taking any any other fights? Because I assume yeah, you know, the whatever belt is... they want, I want to smash everyone. They have to give me that title. Why if I smash everyone? Who gonna be next? I don't, I don't care. Yeah, and we've seen you uh, in your career go up to middleweight and kind of compete in both weight classes. Is that back and forth done? Is one seventy the main focus now? Now more focus on 170. We'll see if my coach says we can do it. But I listened to my coach. I promised him I was going to do what he said. And we'll see what's happening. Yeah. Do you think uh, a fight between you and Usman is the biggest fight that can be made in the division right now? No, I don't think so. I think more like people want to see Easy and me. But Usman, nobody knows that guy, you know. And he's old and Easy, more fresh, young, you know, like me. And then. Uh, he want, I think he want to fight me as well because he he already he did fight with everyone at 84 kilos. He's like me, you know, to fight everyone, and I want to do it the same. Yeah. A, a lot of people think that Usman today is the pound for pound best. You know, obviously active fighters. Um, do you think he he's the very best? I don't think so because when still John Jones here, nobody can be pound for pound. I don't think so. I, who make that pound for pound shit, you know? And nobody did what well, John Jones did. He's one of the best guys in this game. Nobody like him. Thank you. Хамзат, приветствую. Вот ты несколько недель назад вместе с Дарном Силом встречался с Дэйном Уайтом. Расскажи, о чем вы говорили, и можешь ли ты сейчас сказать, что у вас с Дэйном Уайтом такие, ну как приятельские отношения, что ли? Ты можешь там в любой момент что-то написать, что-то спросить? Да, у нас хорошие отношения, дружим друг с другом. Мы встречались, покушали, поговорили о спорте. Ничего в таком. После боя что будет туда, да, вот так. В бою против Ли Джин Ляна ты буквально там пронес его через половину клетки, что ты говорил Дэнни Уайту. Есть ли у тебя какая-то заготовка на бой против Гилберта Бернса, чтобы сделать ну, что-то такое же яркое? Или... У меня заготовок не бывает. Я просто иду, делаю свое дело, само собой получается все такие вещи. Рассчитываешь ли ты, что в углу у Гилберта Бернса будет Камар Усман, и если у тебя план, если он там окажется? Я надеюсь, что он там будет. Буду пугать его, бить его друга. Спасибо. I'm that down here on your right. Uh, you said to start this that Gilbert isn't the toughest guy that you've ever fought. So who would you say that is? What? You said to start this that Gilbert wouldn't be your toughest opponent. So who have you fought in your career? Who said he's toughest opponent? Han, han frågar om du har sagt att Gilbert är den tuffaste motståndaren. Inte är den tuffaste killen i din karriär. Vem var den tuffaste? I think one guy I met in, in the Brave. Uh, there is Ikram Aliskero. He has to be in the UFC. That guy is good. I think he won five fights after me. And uh, that guy is really good. And uh, Dana indicated after your last fight that you were breaking all types of social media and engagement records. Uh, in the promotion for that fight. Have you been able to, or how have you been able to shut out the distractions of fame to stay consistent with your training like you have been? You speak to so fast, brother. <laughs> so My English is not that good, brother. So Dana said after your last fight that you were breaking a lot of records on social media for engagement and promotion. Uh, how are you able to keep uh, distractions of fame away so you can stay with your training? I don't think about that things, you know, like what I do is like history and these things. But I just go back and work hard and come back and smash somebody, take my mom and go home, rest again, start again. All right, thank you. Hamza down here on, on your left. Uh, Kamar Usman has, has actually been helping Gilbert Burns during his training. What is that, one hour? <laughs> how, how do you feel about that, that your opponent is being helped by the champion and, and they're, he's the uh, contender as well? <laughs> I don't know, he can bring all the world. He, there's not helping him, you know, when it comes to the cage. 
You can bring all Nigeria if you want, no problem. Kamzat, why you didn't sleep last night, brother? I sleep good, brother. <laughs> that <don't> stinks. 